How you doing, guys and girls? Welcome to Kingdom X. Do you recognize this spider? I think you do. It's the brood mother, right? Oh, yes. Today's video, we are going to be going into the raw science behind the brood mother. The brood mother, aka, and I'm going to have to read this straight from the screen because this is a stupid long word. The Gasteracanthacancriformis. Probably butchered that. The spiny backed orb weaver. Basically, um, it's a species of orb weaver. This guy, girl, even in this case, this is just an orb weaver spider. Just an incredibly creepy looking, scary one. The broodmother is an orb weaver spider. That explains, obviously, the spiderlings and the little mini orb weavers. Makes perfect sense. I don't know if you knew this or not, but now you do. Let's go into some more facts. Let's start with his name. Gastrocanthacanchrophomorus is its uh, name. It derives from Greek words basically meaning belly thorn and crab shape. So it's got belly thorns and it's crab shaped. Like we always think these Greek and these Latin names are always really crazy, right? But ultimately they all come down to something really, really simple. It's like you calling this a, a belly thorned crab shaped spider. Doesn't sound quite as cool. You call it a gastrocanthacanthromorus and suddenly you're, you're a genius in biology. One thing that is... Oh, no, I'm, I'm, this is my main problem. This is not a big spider. At least the one that I have found that is closest to this puppy. And this picture, by the way, was taken in Miami. This is a Miami picture of what this spider looks like. Um, these are not big spiders. In fact, not even as big as your general, your, your orb weavers that you have in the rest of the garden. So I do feel maybe a bit of creative license has been used there on Obsidian's part. I am open to anybody down in the comments, obviously letting me know. No, 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 no. This is, this is the version that, that you should be looking at. They're actually very big. Fine. If that's the case, let me know. However, um, my research on this has shown that the females are actually about five to nine millimeters. So not even a centimeter in size. Um, and just over a centimeter wide. So that's obviously because you can see what they look like in the picture. Their, their bodies are kind of wider than they are. They're kind of <laughs> kind of short and fat rather than tall and thin. Do you know what I mean? The difference is in this species, as we spoke about the other orb weavers, the, the standard orb weavers where the males are a lot smaller. This is the same uh, with these, with this spider. The, the males are a lot smaller than the females. However, the males are long and thin. So they're kind of the opposite way around. The females are... <laughs> short and wide and the males are, are, are long and thin but 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 smaller very similar in color but the actual spines they don't so the females have six spines going around the edge of their abdomen whereas the males will have four or five and they're a little bit more stubby <laughs> that's literally the word it uses stubby the males have a stubby projection can't make this stuff up this species of spider doesn't live very long because Every time they spawn in, some little kids are just hitting them with a mint mouth. No, they, but they, in real life, they, these creatures do not live very long. They have quite a very, well, very short lifespan, actually. And it only lasts until reproduction, which usually takes place in the spring, um, following literally the, the winter when they hatch. So they, they only live for maybe a few months. Females will literally die after they've produced their egg mass and, and put their, their, their egg sac down. And the males will die about six days after mating. So you pretty much, you've got about six days to tell all your friends and then they are all weaver spiders. Hence, they do spin webs. Uh, very much the same as, as your normal orb weavers do. Um, you know, the same sticky web. Uh, you want to build a web that's not sticky, then put the sticky stuff on afterwards. They, that, that kind of behavior is very, very similar. These guys are found in North America, Central America, the Caribbean, South America, India, and occasionally um, like Hawaii places like that. As I say, this picture above was actually taken in Miami. Other than that, they, they're orb weaver spiders. Um, that is literally what they are. If you've missed my, if you haven't seen about the orb weaver spiders, then I'll put the link somewhere on the screen. Uh, alternatively, you can go to the channel and have a look at this playlist, go through all the, all the grounded creatures. But ultimately, they are orb weaver spiders. I think they did a fantastic job of recreating this beast. I mean, look, I mean, you can see why Obsidian used this as the brood mother. These are creepy looking freaking spiders. Uh, the only issue I have, as I say, is the size. They do feel like maybe uh, they've used a bit of creativity to, to use this scary looking spider, but just build it up and make it bigger so it's a good bad guy. Because let's face it, it's way creepier than the other orb weavers. But let me know underneath. And like I say, if you have any corrections to my raw science that we've been going through today, I am obviously open. Or if you're from Obsidian, 
and you're looking at this and you're like, no, 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 Callum. There is a, a specific species of this that, that we used and they are bigger. Then I'm open to that too. But other than that, I'm, I'm quite happy that you used this spider as the broodmother because it's damn creepy. As usual, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave it a thumbs up. If you want more and you want to stay up to date with this series, then of course, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. I also live stream on this channel now too. So if you like grounded live streams as well as loads of other video games, then hit me up by subscribing to the channel. Let me know in the comments what other bugs you'd like us to go through. And if you thought that this was interesting, I'd be really grateful to know. I'm thoroughly enjoying doing this Raw Science series and I hope that you're enjoying watching it. I will see you in the next one. Stay grounded. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.